Hey everybody, wanted to give you a quick set for your lower back. We'll be working the tissue mainly in the outside of our hips and the back of our leg because when that tissue gets really dense, it yanks on our lower back and compresses our spine. So we're gonna do our best to floss that out and create some relief. So come onto your back to start. We'll do right leg first. Right leg crosses over, grab behind your left leg your left knee pit and you're going to kick away with your right foot into your left leg for resistance so that'll activate this tissue on the outside of your hip and into your pelvis keep pressing away with that right foot as you drag your legs in towards your chest you should feel a nice stretch on your outside here and maybe into your it band relax to start again you want to start with your arms away from you as much as possible and then drag legs in towards your chest to get the stretch the movement plus the resistance is the classic key ingredient recipe to create a change in your tissue. So we don't want to be passive and we don't want to just hold in a position. We want to pulse it and we want to add activation to stimulate the tissue that gets a faster and more efficient change to happen. Cool. If that is cozy and your back is feeling okay today, you can drag your chest up, squeeze into a small ball and then you lower your chest down, lower your legs away from you. And just take three more like that. Squeezing up and in, lowering legs down, head comes down. Last two, hug in, pull your belly button down, lift your chest up as much as you can. And last one, squeezing up and in. Cool. Relax, change sides, other leg on top. So now your left ankle is gonna kick away. I have grass on my feet. Keep kicking away with your foot and then drag your legs in towards your chest. Make sure this knee isn't overly external. You wanna turn it in just a smidge. That'll actually give you more access to the tissue on the outside of that left hip. We're gonna take about three more here. We can brighten up our tempo. We can take a little bit more resistance or a little less depending on what you need. And then take three more squeezing together, hugging up and in. Lowering your head down, legs go away from you, squeezing up and in. You got it, beautiful. Uh-huh, keep actively pressing this foot away so you're creating activation outside of the left hip. The activation plus the movement. We're gonna change the lymph, we're gonna change the fascial tissue. This is your last one. Good, and then come on up, rock yourself up. We're gonna take a hamstring stretch. So grab blocks or grab the end of a table the end of a couch, a coffee table, take your walks on their highest height. Let's go left leg forward to start this time. Left leg forward, the heel's gonna kick back. So you feel like your heel's sliding towards your back knee. That activates your hammy. Keep your hammy active, sit your booty back, booty goes back, and then booty comes forward, relax again. It doesn't matter um, how long your stance is, make it comfortable for you. The main thing is that this heel feels like it's swooping back the whole time. That is the key here, creating a connection in the back of the leg. As you connect with the back of the leg, you're elongating it. That's gently yanking on the tissue to break up the scar tissue and open up the space in your hammy. As your hammy becomes more elastic, more efficient at operation, it'll yank less on your lower back and relieve compression there. Let's do five more. We'll take up the tempo just a smidge. You've got five and four and three. I'm just moving this out of the way so you can see. And two and one. Very nice. Step it forward or switch legs however is comfy. Your left knee down, your right legs forward. Now adjust so your stance feels correct for your body. Heel kicks back. This heel's feeling like it's swooping back. If you're not sure, put your hand on your hammy so you can feel this tissue engaged. This connective tissue running along the back of your leg and into your spine up to the crown of your head and connecting to the corners of your eyebrows based on our embryology links up with our bladder. And if you have one, a prostate. So working this tissue can create some more space, not just in our hamstrings, but in our torso and potentially up into our head. Let's bring up the tempo a little bit here. You've got five and four and three and two and one. Very nice. Keep the same leg going. We're gonna send it straight sideways so that it's going straight out of the hip. 
You can ixnay your blocks or keep them, hands on the ground, tabletop. Squeeze your inner thighs together like they're hugging and slicing in. This knee is trying to kiss this knee. Keep squeezing in, put your booty back, and then come on forward. We're trying to stretch our adductors here, our inner thighs. In Chinese medicine and in embryology, we can link this tissue up with our, our liver. So hopefully we're creating a little space with the liver. The way the fascia works, it's a giant web that runs through the whole body. And if this tissue is tight, then it's going to create this tissue to be a little bit tight, yanking on it slightly. So we definitely want to change um, kind of the areas where the tissues end gross, like the, the largest, um, most, uh, the spaces that hold the most volume of tissue, in other words. As we change those kind of bigger tissue zones, the more change we'll get in the intricate spaces and in the joints. That's good for now. Let's switch sides. Switch your reski for me. Send your left leg out if that's the leg that you haven't done yet. And then keep squeezing your inner thighs together as you sit yourself back. I'm trying to have my, my outer foot parallel turned in. If it doesn't do that, it's not a big deal. Mine definitely doesn't. It's not perfect. Uh huh. And I'll take a couple more here, please. Feel like your belly's looping up into your spine. You can let your rib cage pull together. Soften through your elbows. Most of your weight is in your legs and hug in. Let's go four and three and two and one. Very nice. Come back onto your back. This is a nice little finish off. Grab a block if you want to. I'm going to pop one under your right foot and pop one under your head if you need it for the reach. Bring your hands to the outside of your left knee. I have my left knee crossed over. I'm going to kick out with my left knee and I'm going to drag it in. And that's going to give a lot of relief to the outside of my hip as well. Mm -hmm. The more we relieve this big uh, glute tissue, what we're working on here, the more relief we'll get in our lower back. You might even feel this one in your lower back. If you don't, don't worry. It may come along as you work the reps up. Uh -huh. So feel free to take this video and cycle through. You might want to do that about three rounds if you have the time. This is just a six or seven minute video. So if you can loop these four stretches that we just did, do them morning and night, your lower back will hopefully get some relief. Always feel free to DM me with questions. I'm here for you. Let's switch your ruski, other leg. Put your other foot on your block. Kick out with your knee. Knees pressing out the whole time. Arms are dragging in. Keep pushing out. If you don't feel it at first, it's totally normal. The fascia can really um, play a mind game with our sensory abilities if we are injured or if we have really thick, dense, connective tissue back here. Yeah, keep it working. We love um, to learn about how our fascia travels through the body in an organized manner. And we really thank Chinese medicine for mapping this out for us. So we're really working the bladder channel in Chinese medicine here, the lateral hamstring. And there is a seam in my leggings that shows me where my bladder channel is. So yay for ghost flower. Hopefully you will join us on Instagram and stay tuned for more classes. You're fabulous. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll hang soon. Cool, get your stretch on, get your floss on.